Um, so I was talking to Anchor through the week, and he requested um, like some of the Richard Scary uh, games that um, that came out. Uh, apparently, there was a couple. Uh, I don't know which one you played specifically, but this is um, Richard Scary's best neighborhood ever. Let's um, for kids. let's boot it up and have a look, shall we? And looks terrible already because it's you know. This is based in DOS, and everything is just really blurry on this side. Like, it's good they at least encapsulated the artwork. Hi there, and welcome oh, to the best neighborhood disc ever. This neighborhood is called Busy Town because there are so many fun things to do. Yeah, okay. And this is apparently a based on, there was a CDI just version of this as well. you want to go and press an action button. But if you're not sure what to do, Move your star to the telephone and press an action button to find out how to play. Yeah, I think we can manage that. So I had a quick test of this. I'm not sure what we can potentially do. But, um, yeah, we have a star. And I might actually get some help. <laughs> Been arrested already. Hi, That'd be kids. right. I'm Sergeant Murphy. If you're looking for help, you've come to the right place. This huh. is your special star. You move it with Full your shiner, I guess. I'll move it now to show you how you can use it. Later, you could play with it yourself. <laughs> you can move your star all Not around coming. busy town like I'm doing. Across cars, buildings, friends, anything you see. If your star flashes, something's there. So quick press an action button and find out what it is. Something surprising will always happen. Also, yeah. there are three streets of fun. So when you get to the end of one, just pick which way you want to go by moving your star to one of the colored arrows and pressing an action button. See, we're on another street. Oh. And if you ever have any questions about what to do, move your star to any telephone booth and press an action button to get help. When you want to find out where you are, or you want to get to somewhere else in Busy Town, move your star to any bus stop and press an action button. You'll go straight to a map of all of Busy Town. Then, if you want to leave Busy Town, pick the stop sign. But if you want to go anywhere else, just move your star to it and press an action button. You'll get an express route directly to it. See? We're there. Now, if your star flashes on one of the things on the street or one of the shops, just press an action button to go inside. I can go in the shops. Move your okay. Star uh, I don't think that swimsuit is flashes, going to fit you, miss. Perhaps you'd like there. to try You'll something larger. Games, stories, or Maybe other that pair of Legos and that's on the rack there. If you ever need help, move your star to the nearest. Uh, even the mouse is saying, no, no, don't have button. this bigger one. Just like when you're outside. And any time you want to leave a building, <laughs> and the pig's move like, I have a swim to the exit finish. sign, press like an action going. button, and you return to the street you came from. It's as simple as that. So have fun in busy town. And remember, always be careful crossing the street. Yeah, cool. All right. Now this looks like fun. Um, where do we start, though? Like, I, I must say, I actually really do enjoy games that let you like explore through a town like i th i don't know if we can get it running because it's a 95 build but there's um virtual springfield oh we're in the fire station this apparently. is the fire station sometimes it's the busiest place in busy town but it doesn't seem very busy right now yeah i see that Um, it's... <laughs> not the dog's still asleep, like... <laughs> Interesting. Um, so what are we... So what... Oh, we can't even set off... I, I was hoping we'd be able to click on some of this stuff. Go upstairs, everyone's still asleep. Nice touch on the animation, though. The animation's not too bad. So what are we... Oh, and we can't even go anywhere. I can't even click on that. Um, oh, we can click on the pole to so go up the pole. Yeah. I like that they can't afford like fire helmets for everyone. So one's got a pan, one's got a colander. And it's just, yeah, just 
I, I suppose that's the laziest part of the day, isn't it? It's usually about 5 or 10 to 3. It works a bit like that as well. Um, so it just scrolls. Okay. Eh, righto. And you just click on crazy stuff when it... it well, everything's kind of crazy here, isn't it? What is going on there? What's... Oh, we're in, we're in the flower shop now. What a colorful place the flower shop is. And it smells so nice, too. They certainly like pastels. Would you like to see how flowers grow? No, Most I know how to do that. I like seeds. gardening. To make a seed grow, you plant it in soil. Make sure it has just enough water and plenty of light. And then wait and watch and slowly but surely it'll grow and even bloom. And make sure you keep the aphids off it. Jeez, I hate aphids. Okay. Um, okay, really not that much to click on, is there? I have found that with, like, um, CDI games, it does seem to be a little bit of style over substance, the even the, um, here? like, kids' if educational like ones. Names, move your star to any flower and press an action button. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cactus. Ow. The cactus stores water in its leaves, so it can grow where there is very little water. Okay. Lily. An unusual plant, the lily can grow either from water or in the ground. Huh. Didn't realize I could do both. Rose. The beautiful rose is the sweet-smelling queen of flowers, but be careful of her sharp thorns. Mm -hmm. Violet. Usually we think of violets as being purple, but violet flowers also bloom in pink and white. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, what else we got? Dandelion. Some people That's think a weed. That dandelion Why are you growing weeds? Like teeth. That's going to grow the everywhere French if you don't a name that means teeth of the lion. get on those. Like, yeah, my, my garden is kind of just full of them at the moment. Petunia. They know you. Petunias they can certainly grow like anywhere. Trumpets. Was that necessary? Many colors in many places the world over. Okay. Daisy. A round yellow flower. The daisy gets its name Doesn't from the old Doesn't that as well? The day's eye. Because it looks so much like the sun. Oh, day's eye. I get it. Tulip. I get it. Okay. Tulips bloom in early spring, but unlike most flowers, they do not grow from seeds. They grow from tulip bulbs. Mm -hmm. Sunflower. The sunflower is one of the tallest flowers. Its seeds are so good to eat. Have you ever tried them? Yeah, they're not too bad. Kind of like eating Come back seed, and though. see our beautiful flowers again. Yeah, right. Eh? Um, yeah. I think I have the bulbs there. And if you keep watering that, it's going to die. Just, uh, just letting you know. <laughs> Don't want to backseat on the, um, you know, the gardening stuff. But anyway. Um, oh yeah, let's let's go in the manhole. Sure. Uh, I'm sorry. What? Oh, everyone in town's gonna die. <laughs> okay. All right. So this side's just spinning around? Uh, I'm not sure about the scrolling, though. Singing, dancing, the bus stop, telephone. We call in the fire brigade. No, it's telling me that's a hotspot. Oh, okay, so we can... Like there's a fire. We Let's can call the, the fire, fire department. Fire. Yeah, that's different. Um, did I start that? I did find- I might actually watch through that, um... Yeah, Internet Archives actually got all the episodes of the cartoon show. Which I don't really remember, it's kind of- I, I seem to have been- I remember being more familiar with the books. So, like, for that and the, um, the Mercer Mayer ones we've seen as well. Why? Is he just playing the trumpet for dramatic tension? Like, what's going on there? Oh, Huckle! Huckle, my son! My son, I'm going to take your trumpet away from you. Um, i oh, check out the art store as well, I guess. What's in there? Do you like to paint in color? 
The Busy Town Art Shut Store is where people find the things they need for their art projects. Okay. The painter rabbit loves to paint portraits oh, of like Busy it's Town's that fucking easy. citizens. Yeah, right, eh? See? Next time, he'll paint somebody new. <laughs> I'm glad he said paint someone new and not someone nude. It's a... I do like that, though, that all the animals are wearing pants and clothing and the like. Um, these, are, these hotspots are weird, though. Like, it's saying there's something there. Doesn't want to let me click on them, though. Precious. Maybe I should use this one. No, 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 this one. Hmm, no, this one. Oh, maybe there's, like, or some of these are just audio-based and they can't get to the audio for that one. I don't know. Make sure to use a canvas or a piece of paper. Never draw on wall. I mean, you can. It's just going to piss your parents off. Make sure to use a canvas or a piece of paper. Never draw on wall. Yep, no one's got a pop filter in this game. <laughs> Banana car, eh? Uh, so where can we go from here? I think this was to Market Street. Um, let's go this way, I guess. Broad Street. This is Broad Street. Broad Street is very wide and full of fun things to do. Okay, I'm sure we'll find those. Um, oh yeah, check out the library first. We're in the library. The quietest place. Oh, be before we go on, I actually need to, um... <laughs> I got an interesting comment on YouTube the other day that kind of made me laugh. Um, I'll just pull it up. Um, couple of different comments, actually. Someone was pissed off I was just feeding all the cookies to the dog in, um... Was it Welcome to Toyland? Alright, now here's the one. Um, so, way too much blah blah blah. Way too less exploration. Dude, there are like a bazillion more things to click. Played like a drunk three-year-old who is half blind, half deaf, and does not know how to think. Pretty insulting, but then, you know, they finish with, but you're a nice guy, so thumbs up. <laughs> no, it just gave me a giggle. I, I didn't mind if that. If you need help, Move your star to the telephone. Don't patronize me. Action button. I was trying to do... This I was is a counting book. Trying to show off something. One oh. librarian. Hmm. Two cars. And two cloned pigs, I guess. Three hens. <laughs> or women, as they're known in Scotland. Four fish. Five flags. Oh, what a boring flag. Okay. Seven tigers. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Eight like, like normal tigers. Go from cute to scary pretty quick. Nine bells. Ten happy bugs. What the hell is a happy bug? That's that's quite strange. Um, so what happens if we bring if the? If you want to find something special, move your star around until it flashes. Oh, then that's... press an action button, and something fun will happen. Okay. If you quiet, please. No, I'm 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 trying to do a stream. Dead air is uh, a death sentence on stream. Remember, the library is a nice oh. quiet place. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fromble. Here's that music book you asked about. Mr. Fromble? Thank you. Quiet, Mr. Fromble. <laughs> oh, Egar. What's all the fuss about? <laughs> Mr. Fromble, don't Mystery you Science know? Theater did that. It was an old um, 60s movie with um, Richard Keel. I know that. Don't make noise. Girls and boys. I was it's hoping we wouldn't trigger a, um, cut, a musical I number, but anyway. Even if our jokes are riot, it's important to be quiet. It's important okay, to no, that's just. Yeah. <laughs> that's Ministry of Truth <laughs> shit right there. And that was, yeah, that was the only thing I ever remembered about Richard Scary. Like, the design on the little worm was pretty cool. So remember to be quiet in the library. Huh. Oops. Oh, they at least called her out for it. That's good. 
And as time going past, has five minutes elapsed going by the um the clock on the wall? Um oh, so. Oh so we got the clothes shop. That uh, is a um Oh, okay, they do fun stuff if you click on them, but you sort of have to be quick. Because it's still scrolling. It's the clothing store. There are lots of different clothes here, so pick out something you'd like to wear. Oh, um. I believe pink suits me. Maybe I'll grow into it. Oh, maybe just swap your outfits. That might be the <laughs> it idea. It feels very lightweight. Yeah, that's kind of the deal with clothes, isn't it? You're in the dressing room. Oh! <laughs> Greasy George wants to try on Greasy a new pair George, of pants. Huh? Can you find the purple one? Uh, yeah, this is purple. Sorry, that's not it. Oh. Try again. Can you find... There we go. That's it. Thank you for helping. Oh, you're, you're welcome. Can we dress him you're up? You're in the dressing room. Oh, you can... Rudolf von Flugel needs a new hat. Can you find the red one? Okay. I remember this guy, too, because he always had, like, yeah, the, um, the German, like, Kaiser helmet thing. That's it. Because he flew Thank the bike thing. I, I guess they were kind of spoofing the Red Baron. You're in the dressing room. The flower seller would like a new apron. Can you find the white one? Uh, yeah, the rest of them look terrible for aprons. That's it. Thank you for helping. Yeah, I see. You're in the dressing room. Am I going to get paid Huckle for my work? a set of suspenders. Can you find the red one? Okay. That's it. Thank you for helping. You're welcome. Um, can't really do anything else. I love the, yeah, the dress shop seems to have, like, the exact outfits everyone wears at, um, in the town. And what's... Look oh! Out. Here comes the Busy Town Express. Oh, they don't have automated bloody level crossings. Why was there a pickle thing? Yeah. Melbourne's been terrible for that because we've been trying to get rid of all of those and it has taken them a good, I want to say nearly five years to get it all done. Welcome to Greasy George's Just very garage. glad I don't have to if ride the train wheels, anymore. Greasy George and his helpers can fix it. Well, it's good to know that George is greasy because he's a mechanic, not because he's just slimy or, um, gets up to dodgy shit. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> good to see petrol's free in this place, too. It's bloody ridiculous is what it is at the moment. Bye bye. Um, why leave geese in the car though? Oh, that's uh, good that they're equal opportunity employers, I guess. Did the... Oh, that that seems dangerous though. Okay. Um, don't, yeah, like health and safety guys maybe mop up the uh, the oil spills so you don't trip over. Um. Gorgeous garage. Okay. We got Here this. we are in the Fix-It shop. Oh. Oh. But where's Mr. Fix-It? Yeah. Where is he? Let me check his answering machine. Uh, hi there. This is Mr. Fix-It. Looks like I fixed everything, so I went fishing. <laughs> Leave a message after the beep, and I'll get back to you as soon as I catch a big one. Yeah. Mr. Fixit, this is Dr. Bones over on Bridge Street. That <laughs> I've got your test results you back. You have cancer. Office. Well, I, every time one of my patients rings it, my x-ray machine goes on. Could you please take another look at the wiring? Thank you. Oh, so he's a bit dodgy when it comes to wiring. Okay. <laughs> oh, those are certainly tool noises. Can we borrow the circular saw? We need to um, get rid of some pallets at work. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. And... Oh, they have chimney sweeps here too? Okay. Hey! Hey, you come back here! <laughs> Alright, that's kind of funny. 
Um, yeah, what's this place? Can't actually tell what it is. Oh, it's the fire station again. Okay. Oh, we're just continuing. Oh, we've done like a loop? What? No, we're back on the first street we were at. Okay, I guess we can look at all the stuff going past again. I mean, it's probably not the best, like, you know, that was always the best part about the Richard Scary books, though, because, like, it was kind of like Where's Wally, they always put in a lot of detail on, like, what was going on in the town and, and all that sort of thing. This is Broad Street. Yeah, no, I was just always fascinated with books like that. Just having, like, a, yeah, just lots of little different things going on, like, that was... Why Where's Wally, or Where's Waldo, I should say, for the Americans, why that was popular. And always like those books, I, I can't remember the one I had specifically, but it was the... You know those ones, it was uh, like, it was all like technical diagrams of, um, kind of interesting things. Hey, you, come back here. Hmm. We're in the busy town school. Oh, we found the school. But where are all the students? The old I'll fishing with Mr. Fix It, I guess. They're in the playground because oh. it's recess time. If you want to join in the fun, move your star to any of the playground activities yeah, and probably, press an action button. <laughs> probably a little old for this. Um, I guess yeah, we'll play with the kids. Oh, that was some bloody good animation, actually. <laughs> He's like, oh, I've had enough of that. Can I just say one of the most adorable things I've seen on the internet is, um, like kittens walking up, um, thing you know, slides. I've only seen a few videos of it, but it's bloody adorable. I remember seeing one too, it was the mum with the baby kittens, and she was like, trying to, like, drag one up the slide. And the ones she'd left up at the top just started sliding down. I'm a little Dutch girl dressed in blue. Here are the things I like to do. Salute to the captain, bow to the queen, and turn my back on a wicked, wicked king. Huh, never heard that rhyme before. Anyway. Oh, just, you know. Oh, uh, that, that could have ended badly. It's good. Well, that's good. Why we've gone into someone's house? Welcome home. Are this... you ready to rest after your busy day around busy town? I didn't realize I lived here. Anyway, let's watch some TV. Special guest visits busy town. Now, for a CBS <laughs> What's it done up like a, a very 40s guest serial? The of busy town today, and that guest was you. Oh. Here are the places you visited today. That legit sounds like we're just watching war propaganda, doesn't it? It's been a busy day, and that's the way we like it here in Busy Town. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, is that what it, I think I've just worked it out? I think we've only got like three streets to actually look down. Um. Oh, there's a little worm thing again. Oh, we haven't found a bakery yet. Busy Town, how are you, Anchor? Yeah, we found it. Um, I don't know if this is the one you played specifically, but um, what was this one? Best Neighborhood Ever or something? Store. Apparently it was Where based off so a... Many um, good things to eat. There was like a CDI version or something. That hasn't been too bad so far. Uh -oh. Look at this crazy it's monkey. Gorilla. I wonder what he's doing in the is grocery it store. Gorilla? Okay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Barely remember. Yeah, I gotta say that the animation's been pretty good on these ones. Oh, that's uh, one way to get rid of the cops, I suppose. Poor Sergeant Murphy. Better luck next time. <laughs> Not very confident, are you, Sergeant Murphy? Um, yeah, let's get some fruit. The grocer I guess. needs help sorting his fruits and vegetables. Oh, so to it's help, just the memory put game. Put your star on any box and press an action button. 
The box will open up and you'll see a fruit or a vegetable. To find the one that matches it, put your star on another box. Yeah, all right. I think we, I think we can work out the you know, memory game. Ooh, there's some good turnips, though. There's some lettuce, banana, uh, peas. Oh, that's uh, these are just really easy, aren't they? Um, pumpkin. No, the tomato was there. Yeah. What else we got? Pear was there. Corn was no, that was pumpkin. That was corn. Um, turnip. We had turnips for a while. Yay! Congratulations, you've helped. Yeah, good. Good to know. Right. Now, what should I buy? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Right. Some have got animation. Some are just audio. Yeah. Fair enough. I do. Oh my God. This street seems really dangerous, actually. <laughs> okay. Just, yeah, go run down the streets. Oh, is this... I guess they had a version of William Tell. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't you string it. Maybe learn to aim next time. Oh, well. oh, we're at the end of the street already. So what did we have? We had Broad Street... I, I guess the colours correspond to them as well. Yeah, that was the library. I think that was it. I love it when biker may pay no mind to pedestrians, yeah. It, it's like the, um, it's this like a sliding scale, because I, in, in my car, I don't really give much of a, pay much attention to bikers either. But yeah, it's nice. I, I guess that's everything. We've been down each street. Good to see they're at... No, they're only driving safely because the cop just happens to be there, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah, it seems like we only got three streets. Oh, we got Market Street. Market Welcome Broad Market and... Street. What was the other one? Market Street is a place where people live, shop for food, and go to school. Okay, so we've been there in this one. So we went to the market and we went to the school. Nothing else we missed? Yeah, there was a school. Yeah, watch this. <laughs> so it is my town, otherwise people are burning rubber. Yeah, I like where I am now because, like, you're kind of forced to drive really slowly. Yeah, just... just yeah, that just seemed dangerous. But I guess that's it. I guess that's all we can really do in the place. Yeah, we've been there and there. We've definitely been. That was the fire station. Okay, no, that was a little short-lived. But, um... Yeah, no, that wasn't too bad. We'll, um... We'll leave it there. Are you sure you want to leave Busy Town? Yeah. If you do, press the stop sign one more time. Alright. Oh, we can watch the credits, at least. But yeah, no, the, um... Artwork on the from the actual book was pretty cool. It's always yeah, just fairly detailed, wasn't it? Oh, okay, maybe this was on PC first, and then it was converted to CDI. I don't know. Yeah, no, I got it. Definitely got a few ideas off here for um, game content. A lot of stuff I still got. To, yeah, we we still have plenty to do. Um, Still, at least another 900 games on um, on Windows 3.1. That's for sure. Yeah, a fair few people. Oh no, that's right. I saw it was um, yeah, Activision worked on this before they, you know, teamed up with Blizzard and became evil. There we go. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death Death Sandals.